Hey, it's me, Maddie, and I'm back. As you can see, I've changed my hair. I got some box braids, which I actually used to wear a lot when I was younger. I'm actually going to be talking about my August favorites. I know I haven't done favorites in a while, so I certainly wanted to make sure that I um, talked about them this month. I'm going to start with beauty because I love beauty. I've been wearing like different types of makeup. For those of you who follow me on uh, Instagram and Twitter and my social media, you know that last month I was robbed, so I kind of had to regroup with all of my beauty products. So I kind of gave myself a budget and I headed to Walgreens and I actually ended up getting into L'Oreal's True Match um, concealer and foundation, which I absolutely love. They're so great. I actually wear um, W8, which I think the W stands for warm, um, in the True Match foundation. And then this is the True Match uh, crayon corrector. And I wear the N678, um, basically, which is the medium and deep. It's just so light. You don't need a lot. Um, had a little blemish. Um, within the last couple of weeks so I've literally just putting on the uh, crayon corrector first and then putting on the foundation then going forward with like highlighting and contouring and doing my eye makeup and all of that and I'm super happy with it. I actually had this lipstick and then my makeup bag was in my car when I got robbed and so um, all of my makeup got stolen which you know my mom made a good point she was like well why, why were you carrying your makeup with you but sometimes I film or shoot on the way whatever it's neither here or there but I was such a big fan of uh, the NYX Matte Lipstick in Shocking Pink. Um, I love this lip color so much. It's like this bright poppy pink. It really reminds me of Nicki Minaj. It's very, very like unapologetically in your face and I love that. You guys know I'm obsessed with lip color and I really wanted to find something pink that was matte. Um, very, very seldom will you guys see me wearing a color similar to what I'm wearing now that has like a shine to it. I really like my lipstick to either be matte or more of a creamy than necessarily a shiny or a glossy. I got, I get this at Ulta um, and it was cute because my mom had come and visited af the week after I gotten robbed and she had this lipstick and she gave it to me because she she actually bought this lipstick because I had told her about it. I just loved it. So NYX matte lipstick in shocking pink. Oh, I went to Target and I got the Sonia Kashuk brushes. Um, this is my, I actually don't know exactly what the name of the brushes are, but I will make sure that I link the information down below. I still have the little boxes they came in, but this is more of like an angle brush, um, which uh, I contour with. That's literally what I contoured with today. I just kind of contoured and kept it moving. This is what I use this for. This is the powder brush, which I love. This feels so great. Like, I can't even believe these brushes are at Target for like the prices they were. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they were between like $11.99 to $16.99, which is just so such a reasonable price, especially for makeup brushes. Um, this feels so good. This I use for a little bit of everything. I use it for my, um, I put like a highlighting powder on after I put on my highlighter, um, like my banana powder, and then I use it for my regular powder, and then I use it for bronzer as well. Um, I just like the way it is. So I just kind of <laughs> made this three brushes in one, and I love it. It's so great. In my makeup bag that got stolen, I have the Naked 2 palette in there, and so I really had to start relying on my Naked palette again, and I really, really do appreciate this thing. I really have been utilizing Naked, Buck, Virgin, and Sin a lot, but then when I wanna get into like my smoky or darker eyes, I've really been getting into Dark, Ho Dark Horse, Hustle, and then for like the really, really smoky eye, I use Creep, and I kind of like gradient or like ombre the color um, with dark horse like in my crease and going closer to my brow um, even like for my brow bone today I, I used virgin um, and sometimes in the corner of my eyes I will use sin I really really like sin a lot but all of the colors are great half baked is awesome if you want to have like this glowy bronzy look um, but for the most part I really really have been enjoying this I love the naked palette I mean it's the first like large eyeshadow palette that I have gotten but it's been so good to me within these last few weeks so if you haven't gotten it or you're really really um, attached to your Naked 2 I suggest the Naked palette because it's just 
as awesome. Um, and it really just has some good solid basics in there as well. So shout out to the Naked palette. I know this is going to be random, but I really, really like this secret deodorant. I try to switch my deodorant maybe every like two to three months because I think your body gets used to something and then it just starts like rejecting it. Like I was using Dove deodorant probably for like six months and I feel like the last month I was using it, it was just like my body just was like, no, like that's not what's happening. So I switched to Secret and this is the Passion de Tango. Um, I'm sure it's much more exotic with somebody who knows how to pronounce it, but for me, it's Passion to Tango, um, and it has like this, like, like this fresh fruity smell. It's just like so fruity and really appropriate for like summer, and I love it. It just is, it's just really good. I just love the smell. I think it's good, and I just wanted something new, and this was something that I came across that I really liked, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. I finally got my life together and um, I was able to like repurchase all of my things like my laptop and my camera thanks to home insurance and so I got this really cute in case um, laptop case for my MacBook Pro and I just like it it's I thought it was very Maddie friendly it's pink it's striped I love pink stripes or you know pink polka dots anything that's super girly and like overly like feminine and pink and fantastic I like I was out here living on the edge when I had my older MacBook Pro I did not have a case and it started getting scratched and dented and it was just silly so when I bought the, my new computer I was like let me make sure I get a case and be responsible and so I really like this in case uh, laptop case and so this is maybe like I don't want to lie to you, but I'm going to say it was like 29 to 39 but of course I'll make sure that I find the right information and link to it below. But yeah, it was reasonably priced and it's so worth it because you just want to make sure that your MacBook does not get scratched and effed up in the midst of carrying it around and doing all of that. So as you can see, I've kind of revamped the space. Um, I am about 85% done with my walk-in closet slash home office um, project that I have going on. If you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you know that this is something that I've been working on for a while and I'm super excited about. Um, so as you can see, I've kind of organized my magazines and cataloged them here. There's a rack in the back. Um, and so it's slowly coming together. So with that being said, I've, have, I've been having to buy like little nicks and knacks to like organize and do everything. And I'll do a whole little video on just like how I organize things. But I found like these cute little paper clips, which are like these little swirly uh, circle things, which I just thought were so cute. And they just look like this. And I just really like them. I just thought they were cute. And they come in packs of 100. And they pretty much look like this. I, I might be lying to you guys. I might have gotten this from Walmart, but I will double check for you guys. But I got like thumbtacks and all of that just like to hang things up because um, I'm trying to kind of create like a huge collage wall, just like an inspiration wall. But I just thought that these were so cute. And then I ended up just kind of, I had found like this little, little dish and then I just put all of my little um, paper clips inside of it. So... I thought that this was really cute. Okay, so let's get into style. I've been doing a pretty good job on just like watching my budget, according to me. My husband might tell you otherwise though. So for the first thing I'm gonna show you is this little like bralette from Target, which was I think like, I wanna say between like 12 to 15 bucks. It was really like moderately priced, but I really like this bralette because it really has a lot of use like in your outfits I know that sounds weird but I think like I have t-shirts that I've like cut on the side and so I will wear them you know wear this little bralette underneath because that little pop of neon is really cute or underneath like a chambray top that's really cute and then you know you can not necessarily button it all the way up you can have like a low V and just have like that little pop as well so I've really really been enjoying this bralette it's um, it doesn't have any padding or anything like that and I'm pretty modest up top so it actually works for somebody like me I think it's really good for um, someone who's like an A or B cup. It's very, very um, just stylish and cute and it's lace and it's a pop of neon and I think it's great. So I really, really like this. I got this from Target. So shout out to Target, one of our favorite places to shop. So I've just been getting out of control with scarves. I just really like tying them into like 
you know, little turban slash scarf extravaganzas on my head. I just really like like the drama of it and it's just a really great way to really make a statement with your outfit. Like even something as simple as like a white tee and some cutoffs. I think it's great. So I got this scarf here from H&M and I loved it because I love, obviously I love red lipstick. So obviously this seemed like the right thing to do. I am head over heels over this hat. It's kind of like, um, it kind of reminds me of Indiana Jones, which may not make sense. Um, I don't think I can really put it on my head now because I just, I got the box braids. But I love, 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 love the, this hat. Um, I got it and I thought it was great for like, you know, great with like a little dress or something. Um, and super nice like if you wear, again, something with jeans or like this would be great with like a Merlot Y-leg pant and like an ivory top and some fantastic accessories for the fall. So I'm really excited about wearing this in the fall. Um, I just like this. I've just been getting a little bit more into hats and scarves and different things like that and really learning how like accessories enhance your style and all of that. It's been really fun. So this hat was from Target. So again, I had just like gone to H&M, which I, sh I feel like I should do a haul on, but I found like this like little sweat shirt crop top and I love it. I love this. You can wear this with jeans. I have these like super cute kind of like sweatpants I guess that you could wear out. They're not like really really sweatpants but I love them and I, I actually wore it in Austin when I spoke at Texas Style Council a couple weeks ago and I wore that with like heels and this and then I wore a scarf on my head and that was it honey. It just worked. Ooh, last but not least for style. I love these. So these guys are the um, the Nike, I, for, I don't know what the official name is. I think like they're the Dunk Sky High Top Wedge. Um, but I wanted an all white high top shoe. And I, like I think for me, like the sneaker wedge trend had started getting redundant. But then when I saw these, it really kind of revamped it for me. I really, really liked it. Um, I like that it's um, Nike and it has more of like, it's still stylish, but it still kind of has like this athletic kind of street edge to it, to it in a sense. And so they have some fantastic colors. Like I've seen people wear them and like they have this fantastic olive green kind of suede and leather mix. I've seen somebody wear it with like red and red plaid and I think like they just have special editions of them. But I've really been liking these just on days where I want to have some height, but I don't want the stress of a heel um, or a booty or anything like that. I think these have been so super great and I love that they're all white. So because I'm greedy and I like to eat, I wanted to share my favorite snacks with you guys. Um, so one of my favorite snacks is uh, honey wheat pretzel sticks um, from, is it rolled gold? I think that's what it is. And peanut butter. And so one of my interns told me about this. Um, actually, it was my operations manager. She told me about this uh, white chocolate peanut butter. And basically, it is peanut butter blended with sweet white chocolate. And there's no trans fat, no tra um, cholesterol. And it's by Peanut Butter and Company. And when I tell you, this is probably one of my favorite snacks. And just when I want like a kick of protein, but I want something sweet, but I don't want to be completely horrible and indulge in like Skittles or M&Ms or, you know, something super, super sugary. I get into my white chocolate peanut butter and I love, 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 love it. It's like pretty much empty. If you guys can feel it, it's like almost empty because I've just been going at it. So these are the white cheddar um, popped corn chips. Um, so I guess they're similar to pop chips. I've never really had, oh, I'm lying. I've had pop chips before, but, and they're okay to me, but I love popcorners. It's so good. And it's gluten-free, which I don't necessarily pay attention to, but if you are looking for gluten-free snacks, these are it. I'm not really hungry, but these are just good. So that's it. Those are my August favorites. I wanted to share them with you really quick. Um, um, thanks for you guys subscribing. You guys have been subscribing even though I haven't like put up a video in a minute and I really appreciate it. Um, if you like this and you want more favorites videos or you want tutorials, I'm not necessarily like a beauty tutorial kind of person, but if you like the looks that I have or 
want to see tutorials on how to style your box braids, please let me know below or like the video. But I'm excited for boots and oversized sweaters and jackets and all of that. So I'll talk to you guys next time. I'll see you guys later and that's it. Bye.